Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Super Mario RPG. Last time, we finished the game. Defeated Smithy, saved the world, and repaired the Star Road. But, there's a little something extra to do. We're going to take on the optional Super Boss. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, since the last episode, I reloaded my last save, and power leveled my characters up to level 30. It's not really necessary, but honestly, I just like doing that. It's either that or equip the lazy shell, and honestly, the lazy shell just... its It breaks the game. The defense is so high that from even the super boss, you're only going to take one damage from attacks. It's just... You put it on Toadstool, and she never dies because she can always heal. Now, first thing I need to do is... I'll just sell the bright card, not like I need money, but I do need space in my inventory. Need one space, so we go buy a fireworks here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy one for 500 coins. And go out and trade it for a shiny stone. Yeah, we want a shiny stone. Make sure not to trade it for a carbo cookie. Because you want the stone this time. And head to Monstro Town. So go up here. We get in Monstro Town. One thing you'll notice is there's been this sealed door. And we had over here. The piranha plant saying, sometimes I hear the guy next door. He's always mumbling about a crystal this and an evil that. Isn't a crystal some kind of a shiny rock or something? I know I've seen those somewhere. That's the clue that you need to use the shiny stone. Also, while we're here, I'm going to make a quick stop in. Talk to this treasure chest. This mimic. You found them all! Yep, that is literally all that happens. You don't get anything for finding every invisible treasure chest. He just tells you you found them. So, we've got our shiny stone and a sealed door. If you approach while holding the shiny stone, it's reacting. The seal has been broken! Let's find out what's in here. Then we got an interesting looking sprite. Greetings! I am Culex, Dark Knight of Vanda. I have crossed into this dimension to fight for the Dark Mage. But this world is uninhabitable for me and my kind. I must return to my own world. Before I go, though, I would like to challenge your strongest knight. Will you accept my challenge? You will enter combat against me? On guard! I am Matter. I am Antimatter. I can see your past. I can see your future. I consume time. And I will consume you. This is Culex, Dark Knight of Vanda, accompanied by the battle music from Final Fantasy IV. Oh, I love this optional boss. He also has four crystals, fire, water, earth, and wind, each with their own elemental weaknesses and resistances. Fire is weak to, fi excuse me, it's weak to ice and resistant to fire. Water is weak to fire, resistant to ice. Earth, weak to thunder, resistant to jump. Wind, weak to jump, resistant to thunder. What we want to do is we want to start using some rock candies right out of the gate. But not with Mario. I want him to use jump on the wind crystal. Because we want to do nice damage there. 482. Now Gino, use your rock candy. Should do 300 to every... Or no, only 200 to everybody because he doesn't have the accessory on that boosts it. And Toadstool will use a Rock Candy, which will get rid of the Wind Crystal, because it only has 800 HP. You want to get rid of it, because it can heal and do some nasty status effects, like turning everybody into shrooms. And Ice Rock dropped on Mario. Ooh, that did nasty damage. Now, a big part of this battle is that lots of enemies can use multi-target attacks. Ooh, this could hurt. Oh, not too bad. We're all still alive. Mario, you go ahead and use Rock Candy. 
We just want to keep doing as much damage to as many targets as possible. Hey, got a freebie! Gino, yeah, you use one as well. And Toadstool, it's going to be your job to heal up. Now you'll notice I'm not using Geno Boost. That's because Culex will do something that Smithy did, which is Shredder, and it will get rid of your buffs. Ooh, if I'm not mistaken, this move can hurt a lot. Oh, I was mistaken. It did barely any damage. And there's Shredder in action. Alright, so, not too bad. Let's keep tossing out rock candies. Mario could probably do more in a single hit, but when there's four targets, this is the best use of damage. Hmm. Wondering if I should heal up with Toadstool. Eh. Gino's lost 50 HP, but really? That's all. So, yeah, I'm gonna use another rock candy. The Water Crystal will be the next one we take out because it only has 1800 HP. And this might hurt. Yeah, Gino's definitely got the weakest defense of them between their accessories equipped. Toadstool's safety ring is honestly almost too good for this battle, since it blocks out elemental attacks. Oh, Meteor, this might kill Gino. Nope, he's still alive! Okay, Mario, you toss out a rock candy. And... Hmm... Yeah, we'll toss out another rock candy. And the water crystal's gone! Toadstool, heal us up! Every time you defeat one of the crystals, the battle gets infinitely easier. And honestly, if we can keep Gino alive, we should be alright. Ooh! Well, I'm glad I healed up. Uh, we got another rock candy, didn't we? Yeah! Let's use that rock candy. This will be our last one. Nope! We got a freebie! Go ahead and use that one here. Jeez, this game really just wants me to keep using rock candies. Alright, now we're out of it, and we'll toss out a heal. There we go, I got the timing right that time. That is... That always makes me a little dizzy watching that move go off. Ooh, I'm glad he didn't attack Mario with that. Hey, not too bad. Let's see, we want to focus on the Fire Crystal next. I'm just... I'm gonna use Lazy Shell. Let's see how much damage this can do. 200? Eh, not great. Um, let's toss out a Geno Flash. Do as much damage as we can. Still keep up the AoE right now. Love this music. Oh! Fire Crystal's gone! And yeah, Toadstool. Keep up the healing. Now the Earth Crystal is weak to magic more than physical attacks, but given that jumps aren't going to work on it, Let's just have Mario keep up the shell attack and wow, that was a lot of damage to Toadstool. 368, nice. Here we go. Blast away! That Earth Crystal's gotta be almost gone too. Um, you know what? I have so many of these things. What do I have? Nine Karakiracolas? I'll just use one to full heal us up. We are definitely overstocked for this fight. And I have to say, I absolutely love the design of Culex. He looks like he's ripped straight out of Final Fantasy 4 or 6. And it's gone. We're down to just one left. At this point, Really, just might as well start tossing out physical attacks. He's got a little over four... He has 4,096 HP, which is a really random amount. I really don't know why, but that's what he's got. So, let's just heal up. 
At this point, it's just a slugging match. Mario, you do a jump on him. See how much damage you can do. 251, not bad. Hey, he just used Shredder. Eh. Nah, I won't bother with boost. Because I'll still only get one turn worth of boosting out of it. Better just have everybody attack. Dark Star. That is one angry looking star. Alright. We've almost got him beat. There he is! We've defeated Culex. They even toss in the victory fanfare. I love it! A ton of experience points. Not that it matters, because we're max level. Ah! Your spirit is strong. Thank you, brave knight. I will treasure this memento of my journey here. Perhaps in another time, another game, we may have been mortal enemies. Let us part as comrades in arms. Take this. Treasure it as a keepsake of our fight. You get a quartz charm. Nice accessory here. And I'm full. <laughs> I forgot I'm full here. We'll toss out the mega glove so we can show it off. Farewell, champion knight. And with that, he leaves. And the door is gone. Yeah, can't go fight him again. I often wish you could just because it's a fun fight. But let's take a look at that accessory we got. The Quartz Charm, Shining Source of Power. This gives you offense and defense raised, basically the same as getting a well-timed Geno boost, and it prevents instant death. So it's nice, but not that great. And with that, we've done everything we can in the game. This has been a fantastic game of just a wonderful, fun LP. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. Hope some of you who may not have played this game before are going to check it out. It's definitely worth your time. But most of all, I hope you've had fun. I'll go ahead and tell you I'm doing something different for my next LP. I'm not going to say what it is, but it's going to be something I have not done before. And with that, I'll leave you off here. If you've enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe, and feel free to follow me on Twitter. I'll see you guys next time.